It's Monday night, 7.30 o'clock, I just came back from the barber, got a fresh fade. So we're looking all good, feeling all good, and now we're gonna start working on the first alpha test. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to Google Forms, Google Sheets, we're gonna make a spreadsheet, we love spreadsheets, and then we're gonna make a Google Form where people can submit their thoughts, their questions, etc. And that will be the first step to the alpha test. After that, we'll be moving on to launching the app to the actual app store, so that people can download the app using this um, Apple service called Test Flight, which is basically the test software used to launch uh, beta and alpha versions of an app, and then we'll start collecting participants. Basically, just means that we're gonna start asking my friends and family if they want to review the app. So let's get to the creation of the Google form and the questions which we're gonna ask for the alpha test. Let's go. What's up? It's one day later after the clip you just saw and now we're gonna get working on the testing itself. We're gonna download the whole Apple test version, blah blah blah, upload the app to that, uh, refactor everything, you know, put it into the kind of files you need to write the description so that people can download it from the app store if they're beta users and so we can evaluate their usage, their testage and testage, is that a word? I don't know if I just made that up. And then we can send them the survey so they can give us their invaluable feedback in order to improve the app for the final version. So let's get working on becoming an Apple developer. Okay, update. I'm trying to sign up for this Apple developer program and you can only sign up as a company if you're in the US apparently because you need this goddamn thing called the DUMS number. I swear the US is so bureaucratic with all these things. Things don't work like this in Sweden. It's so much simpler. But now since I don't have a DUNS number or whatever the hell that is, I have to sign up as an individual. But I don't really want to do that because I don't want my own name to be maker of the app in the app store for example. So yeah, uh, it's a bit annoying. And I, I gotta pay a hundred dollars now so I can't really change it later either. But maybe we'll just have to buy it two times. I guess uh, we can probably afford it but it's like it's frustrating! It's frustrating man! Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. You gotta deal with it. Costs, costs, costs. Ah. God damn. Okay, now that I signed up and I paid these hundred dollars for this goddamn program to develop apps on their platform for their shit, it hits me with this. Your purchase may take up to 48 hours to process. Ah! God damn. Okay, so I guess all the plans for tonight are then riff raffled, uh, mixed matched up and I can't really do what I was planning to do so I don't know what I will do now because there's not really much to do before this whole testing phase there's not much I can do I guess we'll have to wait 48 hours and see maybe do it tomorrow or do it on the weekend instead it's Thursday today by the way and then we'll take it from there I guess there's not much we can do other than wait cue the waiting montage <laughs> Okay, we only had to wait about an hour, it didn't take as long as we thought, it was probably the good job at waiting which we did. But now we're doing some exciting stuff, we're actually archiving the app, please focus, which means that we're basically sending the app to the test flight program, which is where you test your apps before you launch them to people. So, we're almost done, we're gonna get this out going and then we're gonna test it and then this weekend we're gonna send out the first alpha test and see how that goes. Update on this whole beta alpha test. It's Friday night. I just took a shower as you can probably tell by the moist condition of my hair at this particular moment in time. What we have just done is we've submitted this app for review. Let me zoom in on the screen because I'm too lazy to do a screen record. Waiting for review on our first build of the app. So what we're doing basically is we're sending the app to Apple and we're saying hey review this so we can send us out to testers and after that we'll be submitting it to to the test group essentially. Right now I think we've got eight testers. I think I want to get like four or five more so that we have over ten at least so we can collect some 
uh, valuable feedback. Yeah, after that we're just gonna send it out, let them test it for a week, see what they say, work on some other things in the meanwhile. But I think now I'm actually gonna take the Friday off, you know? Nine o'clock, we're gonna call it here for the week. Continue it again tomorrow, of course. No weekends off, hashtag grind. But yeah, we're, we're making steady progress. This is a milestone launching the beta program. And I think the next clip I show you is gonna be where I send out the email to all of the participants. Then we'll take it from there. What's popping? We got problems. We got problems, problems, problems. What the hell, Apple? God damn it. Basically, the app was rejected from the beta test review because the people who reviewed it didn't have access to all the content because I did not provide them with the login details. I thought maybe, you know, you can create your own account, but no, they got to have access to all the stuff, apparently. Now we gotta redo the whole thing. Nice, and wait another 48 hours for this to be reviewed. So, god damn it, Apple. God damn it. Oh well, well, we'll just do it. We'll eat the bread and deal with the rash, as you say. I don't know if that's a saying. Or if it isn't, I just made it up. Yeah, just a status update. It's Sunday, I submitted the app on Friday. Started this whole process on Thursday, didn't think. Didn't think this whole process was gonna, was gonna be so lengthy, but oh well, what can you do? We live and we learn. After submitting the app the first time, I actually got rejected one more time. God damn it, Apple. And stupidly enough, it was for the exact same reason. I thought I fixed everything, you know, redid some things, and then I ended up doing the exact mistake as the previous time, I didn't give them the login details. So I did what any good Swede would do, and I sent them a little apology chat, and actually two hours later it was approved after I apologized, so you know, sometimes you just gotta apologize to Apple and they'll be nice to you. After that we had the app uploaded, and, and you know previously how I've been saying that I don't have an iPhone? Yeah, about that, I was actually gifted an iPhone 8 which is at this point in time almost prehistoric, but you know, it still works for this purpose. And I reset it, set up a new test Apple ID just for the purpose of this whole app development phase. And I downloaded TestFlight and I tested out the prototype of the app to see what would the people who were testers actually experience. And I gotta say, I was quite pleased with the performance of the app. It worked quite well on the, on the test iPhone I was using. It was snappier than in the simulator, for example. It was really nice. All the colors looked good, so I was really happy with that. Once I had tested it a bit on this local phone, I went over to MailChimp and I decided to send out the final test email. I don't need to go through the entire thing. If you want to, you can pause the video and you can read it. But essentially what the email said was, hey, thank you so much for agreeing or being forced to test this with me. I appreciate it. Here are the instructions. This is what the app will do briefly. And this is not a test of the business idea itself, but this is mostly a test of the functionality of the application. So please test it out, download test light, do a couple of review reviews and then send me some feedback so that I can improve it for the next version of the app and make a better, more versatile, flexible, usable version of this app. So yeah, good stuff. We have the test version out to testers. It's currently being tested by 13 people. I'm hoping that at least half give me some kind of feedback because you know, some of them live busy lives and other others think that and others think that they live busy lives. But anyway, we hope that we get some feedback at least and then we can improve it up. But until then, please, if you enjoyed this video and this series, leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.